Welcome, sweet friends, to the channel Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul. For those of you who are new here, welcome. We are an early retirement debt and mortgage-free couple living in the Hudson Valley area of New York, and we are so happy you all have joined us today. Today, we're going to talk about 15 frugal things that we just don't think are worth our time or our money and what we do instead. Now, these may be things that you do when you're great with them. You know what we always say, everybody's journey is different. You do what works for you. But these are things we just kind of shake our head and say, no, nope, not worth it to us. So let's get right into this. Number one, you always hear shut off lights when you're not in a room, and we are 100% behind that. When you leave a room, make sure you shut your lights off, turn the TV off, don't waste electricity. One thing that Paul and I do that many people may not find frugal is that we leave our front porch light on and our back porch light on all night. They don't go off. What is the reason we do that? Number one, for safety purposes. If someone was to visit us at night or come to the house at night, we certainly wouldn't want them to trip or fall. We have stairs all over. Those of you who know us know our house is built into the side of a mountain, basically. And also for security reasons, honestly. A well-lit house just makes a lot more sense to us in the evening. Number two, this is something that could be controversial. We do not take any kind of fast food condiments, sugar, ketchup, mustard, hot sauce, anything that we don't use and eat with our meal. We do not grab a handful of ketchup and put it on our tray at let's say McDonald's and then end up taking it home with us to use later. To us, that's not what it's there for. We will wait for a sale and buy our own condiments, ketchup, mustard, etc. But as far as taking condiments from a restaurant that we are not using with the meal we're eating right then and there, it just doesn't seem like a great way to save money for us. Number three, buying food that we don't really care for or really don't eat just because it's cheap. So many of you know what we're talking about. Beans. Paul and I do not care for beans, and I think so many of you know that. We have cooked them so many different ways. Baked beans are great. Overall, beans are not something that we enjoy. So even though they are economical, even though they are frugal, if we buy them, take them home, and don't eat them, then we have just wasted money. No matter how little it costs or how frugal it was, we're not eating it. It's wasted money. Don't buy food that you won't consume. What do we do instead? We buy foods on sale inexpensively that we know we eat and we love. Just makes more sense. Number four, another frugal tip that a lot of people do that we just can't get our head wrapped around is turning off the water while you are in the shower to lather up. Oh my goodness, here in the Northeast, it's cold. I could not imagine turning off the water in a shower and our heat's at like 61 degrees, you would freeze. So what do we do? We just shorten our showers instead. Instead of a 10 minute leisurely shower, we will take a five minute shower and just move quickly, wash our hair, do what we need to do. But as far as turning that water off to save water while we are in the shower and then starting the water back up again, no, not worth it to us. Number five, another way we're not particularly frugal is when it comes to blessing other people at birthdays and weddings and anniversaries, things like that. And that's why we encourage you to shop all year. Birthdays, anniversaries, things like that come the same time every year, Christmas, Easter, right? 
So what we need to do is plan ahead and shop ahead when it comes to blessing someone else. We're able to put our best foot forward and give them something that we know they will love, that they will enjoy. It doesn't have to be super expensive, but it has to be something thoughtful and creative. We never want to seem cheap when we present someone a gift. Number six, another way we are not frugal in many people's eyes is we enjoy taking vacations. We like to get away even for a couple days and just go somewhere different and enjoy ourselves. That to us is a priority. It may not be particularly frugal, but we enjoy it. And again, how do we do it? Well, we will cut back on something else. We don't go out to eat. We don't go to the movies. We don't have cable. We cut back other ways so that we can enjoy vacations throughout the year. Again, nothing on a grand scale, but just to get away for a couple days. A lot of people wouldn't think that's frugal, but we make it work again by cutting corners elsewhere. Number seven, Paul came up with when we were doing our list. He said, when we stop to get gas, if we're on a busy highway or we're on a parkway, go to the gas station that is the easiest to get on and off from, even if it means spending a couple of extra cents on the gasoline. Safety, convenience, just the ease of getting on and off a major thoroughfare. It's not worth it to save a couple of extra cents to put yourself in harm's way with heavy traffic, cutting across traffic, and just not being safe. So I thought that was a good one. Number eight, another thing we will not do to save money is dumpster dive for food. That is really unsafe. We just will not do that. We would rather buy food that is on clearance in a supermarket, marked down, safe and sealed. Now, what will we do? We will, on bulk pickup day, get beautiful accessories for our home, like maybe a lamp that Paul can fix or a planter we can use outside. As far as food, no, we will not save money on dumpster diving for those kind of items. Another frugal tip that we will not do is use chipped glasses, plates, cups not going to happen. If a piece of glass in our home, whether it be a teacup, a serving bowl, whatever it is, if there is a crack, if there is a chip, we don't fool with that. That's another safety item. You can go to a thrift store and get beautiful plates at a fraction of a cost. Setting a table even when company comes and putting out a chipped plate or a glass with a crack in it. First of all, it's a safety issue and it just doesn't look really nice. So that is another way we will not save money. What will we do? Well, we'll take that chipped teacup and we will turn it into a beautiful planter. Or if we do have a chip plate, what we will do is put it under a plant in our home to catch extra water. But as far as serving people from chip china, glasses, anything like that, that's a no-go. Number 10, another way we are not frugal is with our pets. And if you know us, that's a given. Dixie and Loris get the best food. They get veterinary care yearly or whenever it calls for. So how do we save money? Well, we look around and we find their brand of food, good healthy food for them. That is the lowest price. We groom Dixie at home, Paul and I, not all dogs will allow you to do this, but we do it safely and she loves it. So we save money there. We also don't buy a lot of dog toys, as we have told you. Dixie plays with us. She's got a couple of little toys that she got as gifts. She's happy as a little puppy could be. Number 11, another thing that we don't find particularly frugal and I'm sure a lot of people will disagree with this one, but having a membership to bulk warehouse food stores like BJ's, like Sam's Club, things like that. For us, there's two of us. It just doesn't make sense to us to pay a membership 
fee to shop in a store. And when we shopped at that big box store over the winter, we were given a gift certificate. We were kind of shocked at how expensive it was compared to our local food stores when they give you digital coupons. We looked at price per ounce and pound and compared it to what our local food stores were selling the same items for. And our food stores did come out lower. And I know it's the convenience of buying in bulk and, and things like that. But overall, for us, we just didn't feel it was worth it. Now, I know some of you may disagree with us on this, but for us, for the two of us, it just didn't make sense when we weighed out how the price is compared and the annual fee for the memberships. We feel shopping the loss leaders, looking at our flyers, using digital coupons, shopping clearance racks within our stores is a much better financial solution for us. Number 12, another way we don't think it's worth it to be frugal is if people come to your house for a meal and you skimp on what you serve them. It does not have to be expensive gourmet food. It could be pasta, some bread, and a salad. But we always wanna make sure we have more than enough food to serve you if you come to our house for a meal. To us, that would not be very frugal. It would not be very hospitable. It just wouldn't be great all the way around if you were to come and we didn't bless you with the finest and the best that we had. So again, that's just us. And how do we do it? The way we said before, we shop sales, we shop loss leaders. And as always, a well-stocked pantry and freezer really helps along those lines as well. Number 13, I think this was a funny one. Paul came up with this. We don't attend timeshare presentations for free gifts. Again, this is our journey. But so many times, if we go on vacation, there will be timeshare presentations and the people will call you over, come, let us show you, you can buy into this timeshare, we'll give you $200 free, or we'll give you a gold bracelet, or they're gonna give you something, a free meal. To Paul and I, that is not worth it. I don't care how much free stuff they will give us. The answer is going to be no from us. So I don't think we should waste their time our time when we know that we have no intention of purchasing anything just for the free gift. Number 14 is Paul's again. He said, please don't skimp on tires for your car. He was adamant about this one. A good, reliable tire will not only make you safe, it'll increase your gas mileage, and in the long run, you will save money on it. There's nothing worse than buying cheap tires. God forbid you get a blowout, a flat tire. You're changing them more often because the tread wears down. So invest in a good quality tire for your car or cars. The way we do that is we just shop around and we wait for them to go on sale when we think we're going to be needing tires. He said that a lot of times a dealership will give you four tires for the price of three, buy three tires, get one for free, free rotation after you buy them, and that's a great deal. For us, it is a big safety issue when it comes to buying an inferior tire. Putting a little extra money into a good set of tires for your car in the long run will save you big bucks, and it also will probably keep you safer. 15, another Paul tip, don't buy cheap batteries, please. We have learned the hard way not to be frugal when it comes to batteries. I don't want to get into specific names, but they used to make radios, and I think they made cameras, <laughs> but these are just an inferior battery and we bought them in a large pack, actually. This was at the grocery store and we paid super cheap for them. Literally in our remote control, they last a week if we're lucky. And that makes us sad because we're putting batteries in the landfill and we don't wanna do that ever. So it is worth it 
worth it to spend a little more on batteries. Buy them when they're on sale. That's what we do. Buy a better quality battery. It'll last longer, so in the long run you're saving money, and it just is just so much better for the environment for us not to use these batteries and keep tossing them. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Just some simple ways to save money, but not in the extreme sense, at least to us. Everybody's frugal journey is different. You know we say that all the time. You do what works for you. We are just letting you know what we do. Today's question of the day, what frugal tips that you have heard through the years, heard through your lifetime, do you not think are worth it to you? And what do you do instead? These frugal tips are usually really good, but we found a different way to keep the cost down. And I'm sure you have too. So share down below what the frugal tip is that you don't think is worthwhile, but what you do instead to save money. I know that will not only encourage us, but our viewers as well. We thank you so much for being here today. It is Easter weekend and Paul and I and Dixie and Loris and our extended families wish you a very happy and healthy and blessed Easter weekend. We will be spending it with family. So excited to be together with everyone again. Also, leave us in the comments. What are you all doing for Easter? Anything special? What are you eating? You know we love to read your comments. You are part of our frugal family. We ask that you please give this a big thumbs up. It helps us so much in the world of YouTube. We ask that you subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget that comment. We ask you to be well. We ask you to be safe. And above all, we wish you blessings. Happy Easter, everyone.